Okay, let's create a new user account using this Windows 7. So click Start, Control Panel. Um, under User Accounts and Family Safety, whatever that is, go Apply or Remove Accounts. Hopefully you have a better mouse than I forgot. Come down here and it'll say, whoops, create a new account. Um, I like to create used administrator accounts. We'll call it uh, T-E-S-T. -E I want capitals. Capital. T-E-S-T. -E um, A-C-C-O-U-N-T. I'll create account. And then I will close that. And then we go here. Uh, we will log off. Make sure you don't click that shut down. I do that all the time. Click the little arrow and log off. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Click the test account. Squeaky chair. Welcome to a vest. I happen to like a vest. I also use neck gear. Um, I have a laptop and I, I don't really need it outdoors, but I do need it indoors because I have a wall between me and my transmitter that is cement and it won't go through it. So I put them both in the windows. So I'm in the other room and I have to use an adapter in the window. Um, I happen to like that, so I added it extra. I use Mozilla. I have a friend that has FTP, so I added that. This came with a computer. I like my garbage can down the bottom right. I uh, added a razor program so I can, you know, erase if I want to, or just empty the can. Now, right click here, personalize. I come to the screensaver. Um, I prefer bubbles. And bubbles, this is bubbles. So I apply it. Then I come to change power settings. It's on balance, which is good. I Go to create power plan. Uh, that's not what I wanted to go to. Do that again. Um, choose when to turn off display. Okay. That's good. That's good. Turn off display. Well, because it's a laptop and sometimes on battery, I'll leave the settings. Uh, don't put it to sleep. Yeah, well, I happen to like it the way it is, believe it. Okay. Um, I'm going to come here. I need a computer. Show on desktop. That goes up there. I like documents. Right-clicking it. You can't. It doesn't do you any good. So you just got to get it, drag it, drop it. That's the order I like mine in. I right click it because I don't like that. I go properties. I also uh, go uh, change icon. I like this one. Double click it. Apply it. Okay. Because that's what I'm used to seeing in all the older versions. Um, ignore me a minute here. No. Okay. Um, what else did I want to show you? That was how to make a user account. Um, okay, let's go to my computer. Let's go to, to see users. Um, I'll ignore that. Let's come down to uh, 
Let me think a minute. Here. And desktop, I think. I have to give it permission to continue to there. Alright, I want to copy. Let me look in here first. Okay, that was a test folder. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste it. Make sure you always copy a folder or you might just lose it or move it. Okay, I'm going to ignore that a minute. I'm going to go back into here, control panel, the user's accounts. Okay, I'm going to click on my new account. Alright, I'm going to change the picture of the icon. Alright, I don't want any of theirs, so I'm going to go browse for more. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find this test folder. I'm going to open it. Let's say we'll take this one. Just double click it. And there you go. You've changed your little icon for your username. Um, just close it. Oh, that's also where you add your password if you want one. Okay. Now you can just open that folder back up you can use the same picture or a different one oh okay I have to accept their agreement to see the pictures alright let's do it again open this open this that's not the one I want let's do this one alright I'll just right click it save it as my background and that's that's that um, you can right click and go to personalize in desktop background um, and then you can you know fit it to the window stretch it tile it center it I'm gonna fill okay and then I'm gonna go save changes and that looks a lot nicer but you can't see these icons too good but you can change that by going into paint and learning to use paint and putting an edge around your picture if you want to or just uh, go personalize and desktop and uh, if you're, you can you can center if your picture is not too big if your picture is too big you're going to have to go into paint again anyway and um, either shrink the picture and stuff like that. That's it for a new user account.